Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with form filling actions as part of UI automation. UI automation interacts with a desktop or Windows application that we can automate our Windows or desktop applications. If you see over here on my screen, I'm having different UI automation actions that are data extraction, form filling actions, windows actions, and some other actions that are related to the UI automation. Now in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to work with form filling actions. Over here, I will show you a small example. If you see on my screen, I'm having a small windows application that has been developed in the visual studio with .NET coding. This is the simple registration form, which is having employee name, employee ID, gender, department, address, contact number, job location, designation, and employee ID fields. So how can we are going to fill it up? If you see employee name, I'm going to give my name. And after that, I'm going to give some employee ID and gender and the respective departments of the employee, which he is working and address where he is located and after that we are going to give the contact number and after that we'll give the job location where exactly he wants to work and the designation what the designation of the particular employee is and the email id we can provide it in this registration form these are all the details which we are going to fill it up as part of this windows application once you click on the submit button, what will happen? It will say, thank you for the registration, Mr. and Ms. Employee. If you see, let me click on submit. You will get an pop-up saying that, thank you for the registration, Mr. and Ms. Amir. All right. This is the simple registration form which I'm having. Let's click on OK. Now, how can we fill these details by using UI automation form filling actions? I will explain you one by one about these actions which are available as part of the form filling actions. We will start with press button in Windows. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. What this action will do, if you see over here, I'm having a lot of windows on my taskbar. It will try to open up any one of the window which we are going to select. That window, it, it will open that window. So how we are going to do that? By using UI elements. In previous sessions, we have seen how to add UI elements. We have seen that. Please watch that video before preceding this UI elements. All right. Now over here, I'm going to select an add new UI element. Over here, if you see, I'm going to select my window which I need to open. So to track this session, how can I go ahead and track it? By selecting control and left button or left click of the mouse select that and you can see over here in the quick launch bar i am having power automated registration she Harp application that is running window given the details all right let me click on done and then what i'm going to do i'm going to click on save now i will show you how it will work so when i am having a window is running that window will be opened over here let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see the window has been popped up and then it has been clicked on the particular window by using press button in window. All right. Now, as a second step, I need to fill all these details. Before that, I need to capture all these UI elements which are there in the particular window. How can I go ahead and do that? First of all, let me explain you about this action that is focus test field in window. That what it will do, it will, what would, if you are going to select this action, it will focus on the particular UI element which you are going to use as part of focus text field in window. Let me show you that. Let me drag and drop this focus text field in window action onto the workspace. And after that, if you see the parameters, I'm having text field, which field that I need to focus. All right. Now I'm going to add new UI element. If you see over here, it started tracking session. Over here, I need to select employee name, okay? Now, employee name, I'm going to select that by selecting control on my keyboard and left button of my mouse. 
okay there it is giving some email id like that and after that i'm going to select the employee id all the ui elements i'm going to capture at the same time all the items if you see over here all the ui elements have been captured at the same time all right let me click on done so right now for the focus test field i'm going to select the employee name over here i have given as email id unfortunately and then i'm going to click on select let me click on save now if you see over here all the ui elements what are the ui elements have been captured by using tracking section all the ui elements have been stored under the ui elements group so you can see all these elements over here and there also you can go ahead and you can search if you want any ui element all right now we'll we have focused the test field as email id but we want to populate some data inside the text field how can we go ahead and do that there by using populate text field in window let's drag and drop this action onto the workspace over here if you see the text box parameter i'm going to select the parameter which i have to populate the text field now over here if you see i'm already having the email id so that i'm going to select that in that text box i'm going to give it as amir basha p i'm just going to give that name over here and then i'm going to click on save now let's run the flow to see the output up to here let's run the flow flow execution started and you can see the window has been populated and it has been typed over there the employee name all right if you observe in our application we are having employee id address contact number and after that email id is all or the text box related right we need to provide that data also how can we go ahead and do that by using populate text field we can populate the data inside the text boxes over there i'm going to select the same way for the remaining things now i have created all the step of actions for the to populate the data into the text field such as employee id uh, address contact number and after that email id let me show you that by running the flow flow execution has been started and you can see it started filling the data into the text fields over here as employee name employee id address contact number and after that finally email id these are all the text fields which we have populated the data or filling the data by using populate text field in windows